Okay, well while our own little 040 shunter runs in, the collector's club model, I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at this model here. This is the, the Hornby Railroad one, as you can tell, and it's the British Rail Evening Star, class 9F. And I don't think she was 64.99. I think she was about 55, actually. Uh, the lady in the shop knocked some money off because we bought quite a bit at the same time. So it's always worth asking if ever you're in a model shop. Uh, you see, this is something you don't get online. Um, you know, you can save quite a bit of money by going to a few sites online. Um, but sometimes it's best to be in the shop and you get that personal touch, don't you? You get the personal service, and they are willing to knock money off sometimes, especially the more you spend. So it's, it's not going to hurt to ask, is it? Um, you want the train at the end of the day, and they want the business. So, you know, work something out. So here we are, with the Evening Star. The last steam locomotive to run in 1968, I think. Or was she the last to be built? I'm not sure. Something like that, anyway. Let's open her up and see what she's like. Okay, so she's behind this protective window thing. So if we just take, if we just take that off. Well, she looks nice, doesn't she? She looks really nice. Let's um, pop a tender out first. And put that to one side. And then pop the loco out. Oh wow. Gosh. Well, again, I mean I never do this in nearly every video, don't I? <laughs> but she is heavy. And that's good. We want weight. Because it means lots of traction, you see. All those wheels pushing down on the track. Creating lots of tracks and traction to go forward. But yeah, she's fantastic. Considering she's um I mean is she yeah. Yeah, she's a railroad one. The details, excellent. Okay, there's a, a lot a lot of it's unpainted, such as the stuff going down the side, all the different pipes. But a lot of it is actually detailed, such as this bronze chimney on the front. And then the little gold plated whistles there. You've even got detail in the cab. It's not painted, but it is there. You've got little windows at the side. The connecting rods and linkage, well that's just phenomenal. I mean I can't wait to see all of that going around. And if you, can you notice, have you noticed this flat wheel here? It's completely flat. Now obviously in real life they weren't, but to get round second radius curves it has to be flat, otherwise there's just too many wheels to go round such a tight curve, you see. And there, there we go, evening star. Oh my! Well that is just incredible. She's a... She's a railroad model, but she's even got sprung buffers. So, are you looking at this, people? I mean, just look at this loco. The detail, the weight, and sprung buffers, all in a railroad model for £65 or less. It's incredible. Really, really good. A proper connection for the tender as well. Pickups on all wheels, including the tender, so she'll run well. Just look at her. She's incredible. Let's have a look at the tender. Gosh, she's heavy. Ah, oh, excuse my grubby finger marks, which I'll have to wipe off later. But you've got a nice British Rail logo there. The uh, the second one, I think, the late crest. You've got rivets. This is a railroad model, and you've got rivets. And more sprung buffers. How they've got such a detailed model for the price that they've made her, I don't know. I really don't. But 
I mean, look, you've even got a ladder on the back and all this water detail. She's incredible. I wish there was a value for money part on the scoreboard now. In fact, I might put one in. But the value for money is 10 out of 10. Because you're getting an awful lot of detailed loco for a, an excellent price. You really are. She's excellent. Let's see what she runs like. So, let's just put her on the track. Now, one thing I will just say is I've already coupled the tender on. Because of this big foot plate here, it pays to put the tender on before you put the loco on. So, down here comes the little shunter. She's going backwards now, by the way. She spent half an hour going in one direction, so now she's going in the other direction. So there we go. She's nicely on the tracks. Give it a bit of juice and watch her move off. And she's away. Gosh, look at all those wheels. That is amazing. It's nice to see such a huge loco moving on the tracks. And she's running really smoothly, isn't she? Let's just zoom in on that, that linkage, shall we? Oh yeah, she is great. She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. She's running so nicely. There's hardly any noise coming from her. The tender's a little bit light, and that's making most of the noise, really. But apart from that, she's great. <laughs>